Hey, Scissor Siblings, come see me live on tour doing stand-up comedy in Richmond, Virginia this weekend. And then for New Year's Eve, Sunnyvale, California with Joel Jimenez. And then I'll be on the road in Des Moines, Iowa, Chicago, Florida, Huntington Beach, Palm Springs, and more. Get tickets at JeremiahWatkins.com. And every second Tuesday of the month is Stand Up on the Spot at the Comedy Store. Also, join our Patreon at patreon.com slash scissorbros for exclusive content. We have over 100 hours of exclusive content just on our Patreon, folks. And as little as five bucks a month. Mm -hmm. Join today. All right, let's get into this episode of Scissorbros. Scissorbros. And the loser (laughs) is going to have to take a shot. Of hot sauce from a turkey baster up the butt. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> Scissor Brothers! Hey man, how you doing, I'm man? Doing okay, how you doing, hey, man? man doing- <laughs> we both look irie, bro. Yeah? Rastaman vibration, yeah, positive. <laughs> you you feeling the vibes today? But we both kind of we have the iriness. Yeah, you yeah, think so? Dude. A little yeah, bit, bro. A little bit. I get iry with it, bro. Yeah, yeah. How you doing? You look. I like your outfit, right? I like your whole vibe right I'm now. I'm kind whole, of slacking today, but kit. thank you. Your whole kit thank looks you. great. Mm. It's seasonal. You're soft. not gonna lie. I think I got yeah. some deodorant on my on my shoulder. There you go. I think I'm getting it you, off. You're looking healthy, too. Me too, man. You've been getting good sleep, haven't you? I got decent sleep. I woke up at 4 a.m. today, but it was good. <laughs> I went to bed. <laughs> I went how to bed early hours, last night. How many hours are you getting? No, no, I got like I got like six, which is really good for me. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's good for you. I know, That's dog. equivalent to like 10 I'll to normal people. Real fresh in the neighborhood. He's a father. Father of the year. <laughs> Father of the year, dude. uncle of the year, right here, man. Am I a good uncle? Yeah, man. You know what's making He's, me happy? What? Because oh, before, why? Oh, I mean, your yeah. kid. Yeah. Your kid. Wilder. Yeah, yeah. Your kid was cried at me yeah. because I was wearing different wigs. Yeah. But now he's starting to like. Oh, I know that guy. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. 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 He high fived you earlier tonight. He did. Was oh, that a cool feeling? Yeah. Yeah. And I touched his foot. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you that's a good. That's it. a good. That's a good uncle right there. <laughs> you know, if he decides to wrestle, just hear me out. Mm-hmm. You will let, train him. Let me, let me show him technique. Will you? Will he be your padawan? For sure. Oh, I guarantee you. He. Are you gonna be his Yoda? Yeah, it, dude. Like he, uh, he'll be big soon. Tricks. He'll be big soon. I know wrestling has evolved. Yeah, but I still know some tricks. Oh, I train. know. I saw when you picks, red zoned in the bowling alley. I know picks, you know how to shoot. Arm drags, reverse. duck unders. Yeah. 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 I love it. Yeah. Yeah. You got something for us, buddy? Uh, I've got a little tune. I don't know what the words are going to be yet. Well, can I add? A, I'm, I'll, lightly, fi- I'm going to lightly play. You're in a flute kind of mood. I'm in a flute mood. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right, here we go. <laughs> Getting colder every day we go. The leaves are falling in their snow. Autumn turns to winter, and just like that, time passes on, and we age as a matter of fact every day. Every day is a dream Flute solo That felt right. Right? Yeah. And you know why I cut that song a little short today? What? You know why? 
Why? What's going on? Because we have a special guest in here. Yes, we do, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, we do. And I wanted to cut it short because I wanted to make his job easier. <laughs> that handsome man sitting right over here. Uh-huh. And no, we're not talking about Ryan. That's well, one of the handsome men over there. That's one of them. Jordan, our editor, is in the building for the first time. We're getting to meet him today. This is a big, this is a historic moment on Scissor Bros. Welcome to the program, Jordan. What's up, guys? Welcome. Thanks so much for, for uh, coming in and seeing us in person today, dude. Yeah, of course, mm -hmm. man. Thank you for inviting me. Yeah. So what are your thoughts just being in here, Jordan? It looks a lot different than um, what you kind of see on the cameras, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What gravitated you to Scissor Bros? I mean, you two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was a fan of Steve and mm -hmm. I was a fan of you, Jeremiah. Mm -hmm. And then when I saw both of you come together on Jeremiah Wonders. It's... Oh, you saw you saw the old school episodes of us? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Of us like the doing each other's and... individual? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I was a fan of Stevie Weeby yeah, Show. Yeah, And then Jeremiah Wonders. Yeah, Jeremiah Wonders. Oh. And then when I saw you on Jeremiah Wonders, yeah. you guys just vibed so well. And it was honestly one of my favorite episodes. Mm -hmm. Really? And you guys did, I think, another episode. You did like three episodes, maybe? Yeah, mm -hmm. we did three the... each on each other's. Yeah. 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 Now, be honest. Do you, do you miss his long hair? Uh, I miss. His I mean, he hair. looks good with with the shorter hair, man, with the comb over and everything. You think um, so? Yeah, but the the long hair was a vibe. Yeah, it was more of a, a dazed and confused kind of. It was, yeah, vibe. yeah, yeah. I'm more like skater saying, I vibes, it. I guess. Yeah. What well, now? What uh, What do you like about? Do you like our challenges, or do you like oh, that yeah. dynamic as well? I love the challenges. Jordan actually helped contribute to one of the challenges recently. That was one of the diabolical ones, which is the freaking Halloween trick or treat challenge. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness, what a nightmare of a challenge. Feel free to throw some ideas in there. Oh, yeah. In the in the jar. Mm -hmm. I just want to be helpful, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Down to brainstorm and, and help you guys out and what haven't we done that would be the ultimate? Oh my god. Where it's kind of like we're on the kind of borderline. It, we could be red flag for it. Where it's just like really pushing the envelope. <laughs> I mean, you guys, you, the episode with you guys in the diapers, that, that was kind Dude. of pushing it, man. So I mean, honestly, it's, it's, it's hard to top that. Is that, we, did we make history that, that oh, episode? Yeah. I, I don't think anybody's done that. I mean, it was real poo. Off a of podcast, mm -hmm. yeah. Now, did you see the shape of mine? Do you remember what mine looked like? I, I don't quite remember, man. A I meatball. A meatball. Yeah, there yeah. you go. A <laughs> Korean, Korean meatball. meatball. There you go. Do you think someone will make it like a sticker of that? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Inappropriate. Oh, so don't what worry. I don't worry. <laughs> the fart segment is still here because <laughs> for whatever reason, by popular demand, you guys... Keep sending Steve your farts where his inbox is it flooded is with farts. Flooding with farts. So flooded. wait till the wait till the very, 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 very end of oh, the episode. Wait till now. Very end of the episode. Now? And, no. Very end of the episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then Steve's gonna play his Dude, farts. I, hold up, let me just let me promote it a little bit more. Oh my goodness. Um Jordan, will you be able to do this? Do you do can you do animation or Oh or, yeah. Okay, so can I, I'm just going to propose this to you. You don't have to do Just hear me out. For Stevie's Fart... Can you name it Stevie's Fart Corner? Yeah, of course. And can you do a little, like, animation? You know, like, where there's a different segment, like, on, like, a Mr. Rogers or something. It's like, now it's Stevie's... Da -da 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 -da. Like, Stevie's Fart Segment or uh, there's, Corner. There's literally then, 30 other graphics that Jordan could be working on that would be so more beneficial to, to the so show. Important. This is so How important. How about we just put a title card that no, just no, says... No. No, Stevie's fart corner. A, a five second animation. You know how da, long da, da, five? Da, da, da. No, no, no. Five Stevie's, seconds of anime. Wait, hold up. Stevie's uh, fart corner. You have no idea how much work you're asking. How, no, I'm just. I'm talking to the man, right? Let him answer that. Jordan, how difficult would that be for you? It's. It's. I mean, like Jeremiah said, there's probably some better things I could be working on. But that, for you, I could. The, that's the better thing, is what I'm telling you guys. That's the better thing. Stevie's fart corner. Yay! You're gonna, you're gonna have to send him all the audio and everything for that to help out. I could do that. I have a Zoom. I have a Zoom at home with okay. the memory card. I'm ready to go. I got Great. mics. Great. No problemo. Great. Put it in the demo. So you could do that. Yeah. Okay. Make you a little fart corner. Yeah, and then maybe have like a um a butt go 
at the end. Stevie, he's fart corner. And then, yeah. And then, can you also animate a gun next to Jeremiah's head? <laughs> Dude, are, are you that opposed <laughs> to my ideas? No, I'm fine with it. What hey, is going on over there? People really like that as your as your brother that I put in your dip for you when you had your... You know, and I just thought of an idea just now. What? We haven't even done this because I, I do this all day, every day. Let's do a challenge where we'll see how long he could put one. Ryan, you liked it. You like it. That's so messed up, dude. Well, everything we do is messed up. What are you talking about? I want to see how long you could. How many times have I told you that I've never done tobacco and I'm not going to start on the show? Well, it's a challenge. It's like a, just a one-off. Okay. It's literally a one-off. The heroin challenge then, Steve. Oh, It's you, a challenge. You're comparing it to heroin? Hey, I'm just saying. Might as well throw fentanyl in there, brother. Okay, Holy great. Holy smokes. I'll never that down. Oh, my God. Okay, if you're that up. Wow. I'm just saying. We've done some edgy things, and this is drawing the line. I'm Grizzly gonna, Chew is drawing the line. It's like breaking your sobriety. What? Okay, there's a four. We, we, we do a vodka it's challenge. It's tobacco, we dude. We do a vodka challenge. The natives cherish this stuff, man. Yeah, the white man didn't. The white man does, though. <laughs> he does. The white he does. man loves he does. this he does. stuff. No, no, no. He sells it. He sells it and he does it. <laughs> Let's not get it twisted. NHL, right? Baseball, right? It's part of America. Right, right. I just don't want to do it. So, yeah, okay. I'm a little extreme. Well, there, there's a lot of things I don't want to do, but I do it anyway because I got love for this podcast. I got love for you guys. I got like love for what? you. Like what? What's something? We pooed in diapers. That was your That was your freaking thing. That was not my idea, dude. That was your challenge. Think about it. Was it wasn't it? And it, we both agreed, right? No, you surprised me. We ate Chipotle, and then you made me poop in a diaper. That was my idea? Yeah. I don't remember that. Oh, interesting. The enema thing, we both... You know, that was uncomfortable. Yeah, we agreed. Was See, that was both our ideas, right? You know, speaking of very great segments and new things hitting the Sissy Bros program. Yes. We have a very big announcement. And Steve, I want you to grab something and show it in three, two. Okay, right there. Sissy Bros. Hot sauce is here. Habanero sauce. and Chipotle. From Revolutionary Hot Sauce. Yes. We did a collab with our pal Tim Myers. And uh, we met this dude in Pennsylvania uh, in 2021. And uh, he came to one of our Scissor Bros live shows in PA. And he gave us hot sauce. And we took it with us and tasted it. It was great. And then he hit us up later. He's like, you know what? What if we made a custom Scissor Bros hot sauce? And we did customize it. He started sending us samples. Like, samples mm -hmm. And we chose between the different ones that we wanted. We told him the different things that we like uh, for like our taste palette. We wanted something hot, but yeah. not too hot where there's still mm. flavor. I'm a big habanero guy. Mm -hmm. And uh, Steve likes Chipotle. We yeah. fused the two together. I like habanero too. Yeah. You know what? I, why I love this? Because mm. we, we really took time to pick our, oh. our flavor. Oh, yeah. This thing you we did a put, whole Patreon you where could it's put just this, us taste testing a bunch yeah, of different. You could put versions. this I put this in my chicken pot pies. I mean that's my my weekly meal. If I don't know what to get at the grocery store, I get a chicken pot pie. You put some of this in it and it completes the, the pie. And not just because it's ours. I've literally put this on pizza, yes. tacos, soup. Wings, you could put it in broth. Put in broth. Soup, like chicken noodle soup, vegetable soup, pizza, anything. So you could put this on. Yeah, anyway. Go to revolutionary.com slash, excuse me, revolutionaryhotsauce.com slash scissor bros and get your bottle today. We're super excited. Can I throw another one in there? Of course. This goes really good on any egg dish, like an omelet. Breakfast. Yes. Yes. So if you have eggs or an omelet, I've done it like a, bunch a Denver already. omelet, you put this bad boy in there and it's going to complete your meal. And Tim said, okay. uh, he said the one of the reasons why I want to work with us, he said, the scissor bros uplifting attitudes and positive spirits set them apart from the rest. Hilarious and generous. I just had to create a sauce with them. Yes. That's from the man himself. Tim, thank you for collaborating how with us on this. How can one get, how do they get some of these bottles? Revolutionaryhotsauce.com slash scissor bros. Say it again. Revolutionaryhotsauce.com slash scissor bros. And there will be a QR code yes. on the screen. If you really want to scan your phone with it, it'll take you, you straight to the sorry, website. You won't be sorry. Get your bottle today. Yeah. And yeah, the holiday season too, for the holiday season too. You know, it'd be a great gift. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. 
And right? we're not even doing this in the middle with our other ad reads because no. this is just a fun announcement that we've been teasing it. for freaking oh uh, what work almost in progress. a year. Oh yeah, we've been working on this batch forever. Yeah, we've been diligent about it. Yeah, yeah. so we're now it's stoked. finally happened. Look at this, dude. <laughs> what other podcast has a? No, I'll tell you what a, has a hot sauce. I'll don't, tell do you. you know any? I can list all the podcasts that don't have hot sauce. Go ahead. That's what I like. Go ahead. Really? Yeah. You think King and the Sting has their own hot sauce? I don't think so. Do you think Bad Friends has a hot cut sauce? I don't think so. No. Do you think Trash Tuesday has a hot sauce? No. Do you think Joe Rogan doesn't even have a hot sauce? No, he doesn't. But Scissor Bros does. Scissor Bros does. We're making history today, ladies and gentlemen. Get your hot sauce today. <laughs> What if we named it like, like 50 other We might have to edit podcasts. some of those out, huh? You're starting to, trying to start some wars, huh? Just really? <laughs> do you want me to bleep them? No, I'm just kidding. Jordan, Jordan, Jordan what do you think? Do you think that? that was? Do you think that was malicious? No, not at all. Because we're kidding You're around. The truth. We are kidding around. Yeah, dude. Yeah. We're truth spreaders, bro. Now, do you think that is that a part of our fabric? Is we're we're tr we're truth? Yeah. We're the we're the truth. No, of course, the truth. So Scissor Bros is the truth podcast. Yeah. There you go, dude. Hey, all you truthers. All there. you truth seekers. <laughs> Scissor Bros is a truthers podcast. With the truthers podcast, and you know it. Yeah, dude. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You got a little listy poo over there, buddy? Well, I wanted to. Um, I got a new tattoo. Dude. Check it out. Is that a turtle? It's a turtle. Did you get that for me? Yeah, baby. What? It, why did the, you get the turtle? The, you know I love turtles. You do? I'm wearing a... T oh, you... Yeah, you do. You're wearing a, you're wearing a tennis <laughs> pin. Of course you do. Uh, Man, we can bleep that out. Can I just say you are so pure? You do. You do. Hold what? on. I'm ask wearing... me again. Uh, wait, dude, let's redo that thing. Just ask me. The, let's redo the segment. Okay, so you, okay. you pulled oh, the Okay, oh, did you check out the new turtle tattoo? Did you get that from me? Absolutely. Did you know that I like turtles? You absolutely do because you have a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles t-shirt. But also because I had them as pets as a kid. There you go. Keep going with and that. And also because they're good luck charms for me. Not only that is I move slow like a turtle through life. Is that what you? why you got it? Yeah. And not only that, I did a, a music kind of concept album called Two Turtles and a Beta Fish. So that's a part of it. And then that you already I, put out? Yeah, that's all, it's old. That's old. But then, you know, I, I don't know. I just always wanted one. Wow. My original one I was a, like a, a, a the turtle looked like Yoda. So and it, was, it was too much, you thought? Yeah, it was You're, too much. Because you already had the Ewok. Yeah, yeah. It was yeah, it'd be yeah. like kinda like that. It's oh too God. on display. That's yeah, cool. yeah. This is cool, I think. How long you had that? Uh I don't know, like a week? Yeah. yeah it looks fresh right. because I so have I want to give a shout yet. out my, my man Ryan Kim. I still love you, Dresden. I still love Dresden Made, but Whoa. I want to shout out my, my main man Ryan. He his Instagram's uh B B R C L A. And he you know what's cool about him? Hold up. You know what's cool about him? What? He goes with donations. So he doesn't even, he he doesn't charge you. Wow. It's whatever you want to tip him. I just feel so, bad that you broke up with Dresden Maid. No, I didn't break up with him. I still love Dresden. He's in San Luis Obispo, though, so it's hard. Dresden, Dresden Maid. Maid. I still love Dresden Maid. So, but yeah. But did part of you feel a little bit guilty? Yeah. <laughs> It did, yeah. Yeah, I love Dresden. You know, and we, I still I know, we get, love Dresden. And I still want to get work done with him. I do. I, I just, you know, yeah. It's just Ryan's convenient because you he, he's in downtown L.A. Yeah, and it's just like you know. Yeah, of course. And it's, you just and then it's like boom, he just yeah yeah. Were you a little relieved that I wasn't really hitting you up for a week? A little bit, a little bit. Okay, yeah. there's more of that honesty. Yeah, yeah. I've been. You can't I've, spell honestly without Lee. Yeah, honestly. I, I, I do like my space and, you know, mm -hmm. I don't know. I think, I, yeah, I like being alone a lot. I like kind of my alone time. Mm -hmm. I, so I appreciate it. What that. did you do in your alone time? I, I just, I ponder about things. What do you ponder about? Just life and, you know, the philosophy of life and... Uh, and what else? Um, and how much I don't like the new war zone. Um, I don't... Like to point oh war zone it does 
does it feel fun to play? It's clunky. I really can't stand the proximity chat. They drop bad racist words. They're so negative. And when I try to pull out my scope, I don't know how to un. Do it. I also don't know how to pick up a chess piece. The old one you could put three on. Now it's only two. It's I... a horrible game. Go ahead, Jeremiah. No, continue, please. Continue, please. I don't Continue, like please. 2.0. It feels like an entire different game because it is. I can't stand it, my friends. Can't stand it, my friends. So don't play it, my friends. So don't play it, my friends. Even the DMZ mode. Because Jordan mentioned it. Before we even start recording He said There's AIs in it And you could play with two Of your friends And it's a little bit Funner too It's Don't up to you So that was that's cathartic. How you feel. That was cathartic. Did, I know, dude. You were you I, were pushing and you, you know were going why? for it. I expressed it without having to make it a, a talking point. You like that? Yeah, because I uh, it, I was dude. I was sitting there all night waiting for it to download, and I was talking to my friends. I'm like, dude, it's 24 minutes, bro. And then I were getting you. And then dude, it, the, I was in the was, exact same. I like I had my squad ready to go. Like and I kept like the wheel like kept turning and it kept spinning, and I was like, how am I going to play this thing? And then like the download took like way longer than I thought it was going to. And then once we finally get inside Warzone 2, I'm like, this is like foreign. This is like another language to me. This doesn't even feel like the Warzone that I know. You are so being untruthful now. That's not. That's far from the truth, my friend. You don't even have the new one. Be honest. Look at the camera. That was all lies. What are you? Come on, man. <laughs> what do you mean? Come on, man. Did you really download it? <laughs> Get your Scissor it? Pro Scissor Sauce today. <laughs> Get yours today. No, I didn't download it. Okay. Okay. Are you going to? You already saved me the time by telling me to not do but it. This is what we need to figure out. What do we need to figure out? Because we had some fun Patreon nights playing that. Yeah. We Are got, we going to do Warzone 2? No. No. Did they delete Rebirth entirely? It's gone. See? It's no, gone. Where I've gone like the wind. Issue, dude. Gone like the wind. Hey, did I tell you that I've auditioned for multiple Warzone commercials, but I didn't get them? You never even mentioned that. Because really? I wanted to book it and surprise you. Oh, my God. I auditioned to be the voice of Warzone oh, a one of the times. one of the um, operators? Maybe one of the operators. Different, different commercials oh. and different stuff. I've auditioned for a couple. That would have been good money, bro. Well... It would have, should have, and could have. My mm -hmm. least favorite sisters in the game. Mm -hmm. Now, Ryan, any any um, input on the new Warzone anticipations? Like what? Any video game talk? Alternatives we could be playing? Go ahead, Ryan. Uh, you can play Destiny Two again. You know what? That is an option. That is an option. Because the way we talked about it out front, you you really uh, it, it looked um, appealing. Multiplayer. It sounded appealing. Uh, it's a. How would you describe that game? It's kind of like a first-person shooter, but more. There's other things involved, right? Yeah, have you ever played Borderlands? All right, cool. Uh, Thanks, Jeremiah. Uh, so it's. I called... thought you were talking to Steve. <laughs> no, no, he's talking to you. Have you ever played Borderlands, Jeremiah? Oh, thank you. Yeah, go ahead, Jeremiah. <laughs> no, I haven't, dude. See, the truth comes out there. How come? Is that thank, so hard? Thank you. That's not so hard, is it? Sorry, Ryan, that you're behind a monitor. And I assume that you're directing your freaking language to Steve because it's about video games. You know what, man? Yeah. I have a little bit of a bone to pick with Ryan. 
Ryan, yeah. Sometimes he comes in a little hot. He does. Hotter than Scissor Bros he, hot sauce. Yes. With hotter his than energy, this. man. Hotter than this. You know what I mean? And we've been patient with you. We love you, brother, yeah, we but we've been you, very dude. patient with you. Not only that, we're going to all enjoy some oxtail soup after this, guys, yeah. on us. Yeah. Korean we're doing, oxtail we're soup. We're doing a Scissor Bros Song team Yong dinner. Dong. Yeah. Team dinner. So, but, Rye, yeah. we're, we're working with you, brother, because you're doing a good job. Little hostile uh, but yeah, but huh? yeah, he's he he's good at psychology. No, like, well, Ryan. Yeah, he's good with the psychological things. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I found a new uh, chair on the street. Can we show it? It's yeah. a new gaming chair. Yeah. Here we go. No, no, no. We'll stay still talking about it. It's not yeah. a video. It's just a picture. <laughs> I mean, we can't yeah. keep talking. Oh, we don't have to. Actually, you know what? Jordan, just for fun, cut to silence with just a chair on uh, it. Yeah, for my five chair. Seconds, and really just take a moment and think about your favorite yeah. chair at home. The chair I found on the street near my grocery I store. I honestly cannot I believe I carried you. it a half a mile back. <laughs> what? Yeah. Dude. And it was sprinkling. And I had my groceries. Those frugal bro endorphins were just running and coursing through your veins. It was a frugal brother Willy Wonka ticket. Yeah. It was a frugal brother fine. Like, you know, can I tell you something? It's a if really look, nice chair. It's a salon chair. And I yeah. put the, I did the math. On, I don't want to say any street names. But the, the street where I, near where it was, it was a, there's a salon there. And so it was probably one of their older chairs they, they put on the street. Because if you see the back, there's like, you know, like the back where you go sh get shampooed and, you know, conditioned. It has that? Yeah, it has that thing. So you Can know, I you come get... over and give you a scalp massage? Uh, you, you want to? <laughs> okay, if you want to touch my head like that. I'll sit behind you, behind the chair. <laughs> Why are you doing that face? Because that's the face I'm going to be making. You you do that to my head? Yeah, the back of your head. Okay, well, whatever. I'll shampoo floats you. Your, whatever floats your boat. If yeah. you want to, you can. Okay. But so um, it was very difficult. Every 10 steps, I had to stop. How heavy was that thing? Pretty, it wasn't light. It wasn't light. How do I... Uh, it was probably similar to... Would you say it's heavier than Gerald? It's probably close to uh, that those two tanks. Heavier than Gerald? Yeah. Hey, Gerald. What do you think about Steve's new chair? No, it's actually the probably the same weight as Gerald. What do you think about his chair, Gerald? That chair looks about as heavy as my dick. Mm. Yeah, looks like a good blowjob chair. Yeah, so, uh, I mean, that's, that was a real frugal find, wasn't it? Yeah. You would have done the same thing, wouldn't you? That's a really nice chair. I would have, too. One man's trash is another man's... Feces. One man's trash is another man's... Love. One man's trash is another man's vision. One man's trash is another man's... I'll, I'll give you one last chance. Okay. One man's trash is another man's... Pleasure. It rhymes with pleasure. Oh. Treasure. Oh. Hmm. Hey, uh, Jordan brought a little something, something. Oh, you did. Can, Can we I, open uh, that on unbox? camera? Can I do it on camera? Yeah, please. Dude. What a sweetie, huh? Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa! Gerald's moving! Easy, Steve. Oh, my goodness. That was terrifying. He scared the living shit out of me. But I'm sure he liked that because Stevie likes poop. And, Jordan, this is for me and Jeremiah, right? You, Jeremiah, and I, I brought something for Ryan, too. Okay, so oh. can I do each item? Yeah. Oh, my Whoa. That's yours, dude. Lifestyle break lifestyle. And there's a yin and yang symbol. Is that a sword or those kind of look like nunchucks? It's a it's a barbell. It's a barbell. Wow. Heck yeah. Thank you, Jordan. Thank you, Jordan. Ooh, I like this. This is a cool hat. There's one for Ryan and then. Dude, yeah. Heck yeah. Can I wear These it? are cool, yeah, of course. This is great. Thank you, dude. Yeah, man. Heck yeah. Oh my God, the next one. Close your eyes for this one. Mm -hmm. Close your eyes and I'll kiss you. Oh, wait, hold on. Close your eyes. I want to do a little pre-challenge. I just came up with it. I'm going to put this near your nose and I want you to guess what it is. What? Yeah.
the end of the story? I don't know what it is. It's a little pungent. I don't know. What is it? Cupcakes. Cupcakes? Cupcakes. Can we do a cupcake break? You know what? That's not a bad idea. Can we all do a cupcake yeah. break? Yeah. I mean, where did you get these bad boys? I see a, a velvet one. There's a purple. Oh, my God. There's like a cookies and cream. Oh, if my. You these have look. any kind Woo! of treat at home. Oh, my. We're going to do God. a little cupcake break right now. Thank you, Jordan. Treat yourself. Jordan. You've can had we a all, hard week. Can we all enjoy? Uh, we can all. There's enough for all of us. Yeah. So can we all pick one and have a cupcake break right yeah, now? Yeah, absolutely. All right. So you want to get it started? Well, you, you have it. So you go for it. <laughs> That's gracious of you to give me first choice, but it's already in your lap, brother. Oh my! I don't goodness. even know what this one is, but it looks damn good. Yeah, so it's it's from yeah, go a, ahead. It's from a, a bakery, a Filipino bakery called Baked. Mm -hmm. I think they have like three locations. There might be one in LA. This particular yeah. one's in Orange County. Mm -hmm. um, so oh there's an ube cheesecake. There's a strawberry cheesecake. There's a dulce de leche. There's a, a red velvet. Mm -hmm. um, does this I have like cream cheese like in it or something? It looks like it might. I think cream oh. cheese frosting. Oh, okay, the, I, that's why. That's what I kind of thought. Oh, there's a pumpkin. Yeah, I forgot the last one. Do you want me to hand it to them? Uh, yeah. Thank you, brother. Let's take turns. Everyone, do their first bite and describe what. Your How about everybody bites into it and gives like a real pleasurable moan? Okay, here we go. Okay, Five, you go first. Four. Oh, we're we gonna take turns. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's good. I don't even know how to describe that. It's pleasant. Okay. Go ahead. Mm. Jordan, go oh. ahead. Go ahead, Jordan. Oh. Gotta give a pleasurable moment. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Ryan? Ryan. <clears throat> Oh shit! <laughs> he hit it though. <laughs> Dang! I guess we know Ryan's new favorite segment. Yeah! You see that boy? <laughs> Woo! He went to another dimension. <laughs> he hit it with the ocean. Dude, be nice, bro. I'm just saying. He'll draw, he'll destroy you psychologically. Oh, I know he will. So be nice. Okay, here we go. Dude, there's like jam in mine. Scissor Brothers! Hey, Scissor Siblings. It's come to our attention recently that established titles and Kamikoto are scams. Scams. We have no affiliation with them anymore, and as soon as we found out from you, our listeners and viewers, we stopped doing business with them immediately. Thank you for alerting us, mm -hmm. and do not purchase from those companies. Now, let's get into a great ad read from our pals over at Raycon. Hey, bro. What's up, brother? Are you listening to Serpent Snake's new album? You know I am. I want some of that, broski. Oh, well, skip the stress and shop online to snag some of the yeah. best deals of the holiday season on premium audio products from Raycon! Yeah! Wireless earbuds, headphones, and speakers offer a premium, premium sound. sound! Comfortable fit and up to 54 hours of battery life at half the, the price, price of other premium audio <laughs> brands! <laughs> oh. God, I'm so jealous I want some Serpent Snake too! Oh, Plus, yeah. Raycon makes it easy to shop for every Tom, Tom Dick, Dick, and Bro in, in your, your life with holiday gift, gift guides. guides. <laughs> Try shopping, shopping Raycon's Holiday Bundles. Bundles. Their best buds bundle gets, gets you 30% off to 
Bears of Everyday Earbuds! Raycons are sleek and stylish and come in a range of colorways to match anyone's style. Even mine, even though I don't even have a style! Well, you're gonna have one after you get these Raycons! The Raycon website even offers buy now, pay later options! <laughs> right now, go to buyraycon.com slash scissorbros15 to get 20% off site wide. That's 20% off any Raycon product which Almost never happens! Yeah. Yeah. yeah! Surface snake, man! Or save even bigger and get 30% off Raycon's, Raycon's exclusive holiday bundles! Uh, yeah. yeah! That's buyraycon.com slash scissorbros15 for 20% off your Raycon purchase. Buyraycon.com Slash Scissor Bros 15 and get that serpent snake sliding down your ear hole. Can I sample some, bro? I think I said the teleprompter too slow. Yeah! yeah. Raycon! Like strawberry jam? Dude, wow. Look at that. Wow. Dude, Jordan, thank you, dude. This might be a carrot one. Thank you, dude. Thank you, Jordan. Hey. Yeah. I think it's pumpkin. Mm. Could be pumpkin. Mm-hmm. That's right. Pumpkin. Dude, this place is bomb. Hey, give them a shout out real quick. Where could they get a cupcake like this in your area? Shout out to Baked, mm. uh, Filipino Bakery. This one's at the district in um, Costa Mesa. Hell Orange yeah. County. That's what's up. Mm. Dude, this is delicious. Dude, cupcakes are the shit, huh? Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Hey, Ry, do we have any uh, fan questions? Mm -hmm. Scissor siblings questions? Scissor siblings. Yeah, we do. We have okay. a couple. Uh, remember, if you have any questions, send them into scissorbrospod at gmail.com. Voice yes. memos. Yeah. Um, this one is from Phil. Hey, Stevie Weeby and Jeremiah. This is Phil Paxton, big scissor sibling here up in Ontario, Canada. I'm also the host of Banecdotes Podcast. Love what you guys are doing. Love the challenges. Love the punishments. Um, it's always very entertaining. You guys are like uh, almost like a family version of Jackass. I, I really enjoy it. I've got a question for each of you. Um, I'm a musician. Uh, gigs on the road. And I'm expecting a child in two months. And I'm really looking forward to it. And... Jeremiah, I know you just had uh, a child, uh, well, I think going on a couple of years now, but uh, do you have any advice for someone who balances that creative work life with some sort of family life? I know that you're always swamped with with what you're doing with uh, you know, stand-up comedy and podcasting all the time, um, but I was just wondering if you have anything that you could offer or, or, or anything that I could you know, maybe look forward to or expect like i'm obviously looking forward to my child <laughs> being born and uh, i'm just wondering if you have anything um and stevie weeby i uh, know that you're a huge skater fan just wondering if uh who are your favorite current skaters um maybe you can list some also some old skaters that you used to love that don't skate anymore and what's your go-to uh skate brand uh you know you're a birdhouse guy uh, you're an alien workshop element. Uh, what do you ride? All right, take it easy, folks. Go ahead, Jemma. Sure. Uh, <coughs> first of all, thanks for sending in a voice memo to mm -hmm. scissorbrospod at gmail.com. A uh, lot to look forward to as a new dad. Congratulations. Uh, I think that one thing outside of your you know, relationship with your child that's going to be amazing is... Uh, you're, you're going to get inspired in different ways. And uh, I would say advice-wise, what I can give is um, don't ever be afraid to drop what you're doing for a second to spend a, a moment with 
your kid. Well, what I try to do is uh, I do, my wife is a social and emotional learning specialist. So she, uh, she and I are definitely of the theory that it's definitely the quality over the quantity of time. If you're on your phone around your kid and you're not being present and you're just throwing on something on their iPad or something like that, eventually you're technically with them, but that's not something that's like going to build memories with them. But if you give them undivided attention, like I'm very busy, but like I'll take little, even 10 minutes sections out of my day to play with my son and give him complete undivided attention where it's all eyes on him. And I think that that time is way more worthwhile than just kind of going through the motions and being like mm -hmm. around uh, people. Uh, if you're, you know, just being present and not on your phone, stuff like that. So that's the best advice that I can give. I no, I mean, I'm here. Sorry, I didn't mean. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm being here. present and not on your phone. And I look over and Steve's like, no, 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 I'm here, man. No, I thought you meant it. Yeah, I thought you were doing that because you saw that I did that. Because I was, I was thinking of a skater. I, I'm, on, I'm still on the same page as you guys. <laughs> right, right, right. But I was like, I forgot a skater's name. Right, know? right. Yeah, but go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. No, Keep no, going. no. Keep going. No, that Keep was going. it. That was it. Keep going. No, there's was, a little bit more you could add. Go no, ahead, I'm pretty sure. No, 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 no. Out of respect. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. You go ahead, man. No, I'm. Pretty, I disrespect that, that. That moment. Pretty right tapped there. out. You are. I'm pretty done. Okay, so, so what was the question for me <laughs> again? <laughs> <laughs> who is your My. current or oh, okay. old favorite the skaters, skaters, the skaters and what's your brand okay so brand wise i'm not i haven't really big been a big brand person where i'm like i'm gonna get the new alien workshop or real deck i'm more like support i'm like down to support the local scene so before before we met andrew i would just go to pharmacy because they had a 20 dollar deck deck yeah a day for on the twentieth of each month. But now we go to Faces Skate now, Shop in exactly. Tempe, Arizona. So now I support. I I I'm, I want only skate Faces decks. Because, and they ship to you as well. Yeah, because it's our friend Andrew, and he's got a great skate, a mom and pop skate shop, in Tempe, Arizona, near the skate park there. And they just got a sick sign on the outside. Yeah, too. sick. So yeah. I, I want to support the local kind of local brands. Yeah. As far as skaters that I look up to, as far as generational wise, like. Obviously, day one song because of his technical ability. I mean, he's on a different level. Um, I forgot about this one though. I like. I really like. I've always liked Tom Penny. He. Uh, he's oh yeah, kinda, free falling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, no, no, not Tom Petty. Tom Penny. Yeah, that's what I said. Tom Penny. Yeah, Tom Penny. No, you said free falling. Yeah, like Tom, Tom Petty. Okay, so um, yeah, I skated for flip skateboards. Um, I like him. Uh, as far as new generation, dude, the Japanese kids are on a different level. That kid Jin Wu or whatever. Have you heard of this kid, Jin Wu? Yeah. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry. Uh, Sometimes I, I we just, don't have the same references. I know, but it's just like that's going. Let's let's keep it truthful here. Okay. So you haven't heard of them. I haven't played Warzone 2. <laughs> Why are you? I didn't ask about Warzone 2. You said be truthful. I said Jin Wu. Uh, you I said. About Jin Wu. Okay, I had to confess. I haven't played okay, Warzone okay, okay. 2 yet. So, yeah. So, yeah. As far as the generations wise, like the new kid, like the Japanese kids killing it. The people like Jin Wu. Um, a, a Day One Song. T Tom Penny. New kid on the scene. Rodney Mullen. Oh yeah, of course Rodney Mullen, but that's yeah, that's a given. That's just a given. But yeah, and our, that's our about pal it. Deshaun Jordan. Oh Deshaun Jordan, killing the game, of course. Uto. Uto. Killing the game. Feels good that I beat a couple Olympic athletes in pool. Just gotta throw that out there again, but continue. You know, you did change. You were different that night. Oh, you best yeah. believe it, brother. You even you can I say something? You best believe it. You even it. said something. I go, what's it like? Uh, playing pool with him, he's like, "Yeah, it feels good uh, being some top athlete." <laughs> you you said something <laughs> really egotistical. Okay, I did. In the kitchen, you're like, "Yeah, it feels good being beating a a top tier a top, athlete, top uh, top tier athletes, Olympians." But I beat him in pool. <laughs> right? Yeah, something man. like that. Yeah. What did that do to your ego? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Also, you know what kind of did something for my ego too? I beat a guy 
named Pockets and Pool over the weekend in New York, and that made me feel pretty good. Yeah, let's talk about that. Didn't you? Weren't you traveling to a lot of places? Let's talk about your road trips. I had quite the trip. Yeah. Okay, let's go down the trajectory, dude. Oh, you really? Yeah. Um. Well, so I did like this eight day run of shows uh, around the country. Start off in the Midwest and work my way east, and uh, well, technically, I was in Indianapolis first. Um, in Indiana. What's it, what's it like there? I've never been to Indiana. What is that like? Well, they, they do the Indy 500 there. Okay. I mean, with the weather. And we just it? raced cars, so I got a clip of me at the airport next to a tiny car. Hey, Steve. Can you imagine riding in one of these, man? Look how tiny this thing is, man. Pretty wild, dude. I mean, look. A person's supposed to fit right inside there. All right, it's pretty early. What was weird about the show, but I actually liked it. I liked it, but it was different. We're talking about Indianapolis? Indianapolis. Okay. It was a secret headliner showcase, so I wasn't allowed to promote that I was even going to Indianapolis at all. I wasn't. I was literally not allowed to promote that I was going there. Oh. So when I walked out on stage, when they introduced me, that's the first time the audience knew who they were going to see. So What was the reaction? Some people were let down. Got to be honest with you, brother. You saw I'm some not, of the, I'm you not. saw you saw some of the facial expressions. Yeah. <sighs> and that brought my ego way <sighs> back down. See, I, I, I even it out. Profe- that's why, but you keep it professional. That's why I take you my didn't victories in pool. You brother? No, not you at all. You did your thing, didn't you? Yeah, somebody left. Come on, man. Listen, we're trying to yeah, pick I'm you sorry, up here. Just, yeah, they had but a, they had a, but fa- then you killed. They had, a, they had a family emergency. <laughs> but you killed after that, right, brother? Yeah. There you go. Yeah. That's what. That's the moment. I'm yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my. No, God. I did. I did get set, but yeah. No, it's it's odd because there was a handful of people that were stoked in the audience that mm-hmm. know from like Scissor Bros mm-hmm. or Jeremiah Wonder. Oh, you had some Scissor siblings. Yeah, there's some Scissor siblings okay, out there. Okay. Okay. Um, but there was definitely people that I could be that looked like. I, they literally thought it was going to be Louis C.K. on a Wednesday night in Indianapolis. Or Sebastian or yeah. something. Yeah, and I'm like, you had a lawyer. Oh, Ex- So the right. expectations got built up, and then I'm like... That, yeah, that's that's not good promote. That's not a good marketing tool, I don't think. Uh, you got to let people know. Well, it was They got to know what they're that's paying the theme. for. That's the theme of the show. It's a secret. Yeah, they, I don't like that idea. They should change it. Okay, well, thanks yeah. for booking me. <laughs> okay, I'm just saying... <laughs> I'm just saying you gotta let people know what they're gonna get. Right. Yeah. But um, the next day I went to St. Louis. Okay. And my brother and my dad came out and drove out to see me for stand up on the spot in St. Louis. Oh, Missouri. Yeah. Yeah. Is it the same venue? Uh, different venue. Yeah. But um, yeah. Okay. And dude, my dad. I took my brother and my dad to Emos, and here's a little footage. Emo's Pizza, yeah. Okay, my dad just had a toaster ravioli for the first time. All I can say is all this in heaven too. <laughs> Doesn't get much better than this. Do you like it? I don't like it, dang. <laughs> it's orgasmic, what are you talking about? It's awesome. <laughs> Little explosions in my mouth. <laughs> Can you believe that was his first time in his life trying toasted ravioli? I loved it. That was, I enjoyed that place. Oh, dude, yeah. it's so good. Oh, I love it. I love it. Yeah, it's it's real unique. Yeah, even the the thin crust. Yeah, 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 yeah. They, they loved it. They it was amazing. It. Yeah. It was okay. Amazing. Yeah. Okay. So you did. Okay. So Missouri. You went to Indianapolis, Missouri, and then Missouri, and then I went out to Syracuse, New York. Was that was that nice? You go to a bodega out there? A bodega? A bodega. For what? Or just to get stuff. A deli, did you get sandwiches or On the way back I uh there there was a place that was that was really good. Mm-hmm. But I went to the you would like this one um place that I went to. I, I almost wish that we could do a scissor bros challenge uh in one of these. It wasn't an escape room, but it was like kind of like that. 
We haven't done an escape room challenge, no. have we? No, how cool would that be? We just got to get somebody to film it properly. Right, yeah. But that would be that would be cool, it right? Would, it would, right? Yeah, but I went out there with my buddy Danny Braff. We had downtime during the day on the Saturday before the shows, mm -hmm. and I got some pretty good footage inside this escape room type place. It was set in outer space oh, cool. in a spaceship, and it was pretty fun. How much was it to do it? Like 30 bucks each. Is that a pretty fair price? I was thinking it'd be less. Frugal Brothers, Brothers Strike, Strike again. again. But you know what? It was worth it for the memories and the footage for you guys. Hey, Steve. Little Ray opened up a store out here in Syracuse. Pretty proud of him for venturing out on this business. Wow. Congrats, Little Ray. I'm here with my buddy Danny Braff, who's featuring for me in Syracuse at the Funny Bone, which is right across the the way at the, the mall out here, and we're about to go into deep space together. It's a problem solving puzzle room slash escape room kind of a vibe. And the four uh, people before us were children, so we hope we can do it. Danny said the last time he went here was when he was a child and he has fond memories. This might be the best or worst thing for us to do on a Saturday. Stay tuned. Oh, here we go, here we go, let's go. Here we go. Would you say this is mainly for children? Maybe. I would say if you can't get it done, I would call you a child. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good to know, good to know. The Project Nebulous team built and launched the ship you see here, carrying our only long-range engines at the time. Now, this was about 10 years ago when we mysteriously lost contact with the ship. We assumed it had been destroyed. <laughs> Please keep all extremities within the teleportation pad at all Extremities times. Deep space corporation is not responsible for any scattering of matter or loss of life during teleportation. Thank you for your cooperation. Okay, this is about to get nutty in here. Get into this. We have no choice but to evacuate. Myself and what's left of the crew are using the escape pod to go back to Earth. Or wherever we can. This is insane! <laughs> if you're seeing this, whoever you are, get off this ship. Okay. <laughs> I accidentally I accidentally broke one of the handles off of these. I don't know what the heck is going on, but we gotta figure this out and clean this up before people come back in. Upsies. <laughs> okay. Systems are not fully active. We keep failing. We keep failing, but we we're gonna try to get through this thing. To fully reactivate my ship. Your time the coldness of space runs short. In a moment you will return to Earth with something more. You will return with me. Oh man, we just failed. We failed. All right, we got a 77 out of 99. Uh, so we did pretty bad. Yeah, we, we weren't great, but it was fun. I had a good time. Very fun. Very fun. Wasn't that footage pretty cool? Yeah, dude. Like kind of high tech. Like you had a good time. It was, it was fun. Yeah. It was fun. Was I it wanna... stressful at all? Or? Yeah, because we traveling to A, B, C, D. E, yeah, like... but it was good. Um, luckily, like I was with uh, Danny Braff and James Pontello on the mm -hmm. way back. I want to give a shout out to my buddy do it, Danny dude. Braff right now. Mm -hmm. Very funny comic on the come up. Mm -hmm. Just funny, a nice dude. I've worked multiple weekends with him, and I think that there should be more nice, funny guys in comedy like this guy. And mm -hmm. I want to give him not, his roses. Are they mostly not nice? No, but he just he goes out his way. He works really hard. He he produces really great shows. Mm -hmm. He's featured for me a couple times, and he did a great job where's setting the plate for me. Yeah, where's he staying? Uh, he stays around the Jersey, New York area, oh, wow. and does gotcha, shows all gotcha. around the East Coast. So, 
Love you, Danny Braff. Keep up the hard work, brother. Mm. You're on a great pace. I mm. just you gotta give roses yeah, to the people love. who are working hard. You that's know what love. I mean? That's love. Uh, that's fun. So we were on the on the way back um, from Syracuse into driving to Manhattan City, and uh, you know. Some fun stuff happened along the way, uh, mm -hmm. like this restaurant that we found and some other stuff, and here's a few clips. James, I'm looking at this back area, and I thought this was like uh, an air freshener or something, and what is it? Sugar. <laughs> <laughs> Why, you just dropped sugar? How, why were you carrying that much the, sugar the, in your car? The bag ripped open. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much sugar back here. Yeah, I gotta get it the vacuum go. <laughs> James! <laughs> so this is called Sharon's Place, and it's very homemade and fresh breakfast. We're yeah, stopping here, and look at the size of the pancakes here. It's wild. Yeah, pretty cool. In Scranton, New York. Dude, Sharon's is incredible. Oh my goodness. If you are in Scranton, New York, Go to Sharon's place. It's seriously one of the best diners I've ever eaten at in my life. The food was hot. The taste was so good. It was phenomenal. The wait staff was nice. Can't recommend it enough. Five out of five scissors, baby. In Scranton, Pennsylvania, on the way down to the city. And wow, it hey, is put your pants on. It is very your asides are so well timed, James, <laughs> because they're soft and barely audible on camera. <laughs> so they're just extra bonus features for those of you who are watching or listening. But it's very pretty up here. Uh, just pass by like a lake and a path. Uh, the Danny and James have never seen a camera before. They don't know how technology works, so they keep talking while I'm trying to record a freaking video in here. But anyway, we're having a good time. Okay, what did you just say, Danny? What did you just <laughs> freaking say, dude? We're not technically in Scranton. Where anymore. are we then? We're somewhere in Pennsylvania. I'll tell you exactly where He's we are. saying that I'm lying to you guys. I, I accidentally know. said Scranton, New York earlier, then I said Scranton, Pennsylvania. We're, we're now in Roaring Brook Township, Pennsylvania. Okay, we're in Pennsylvania on the open road <laughs> with my two best friends, <laughs> Danny and James. <laughs> We are in a freaking hailstorm right now! Oh my goodness, do you see it coming down? Danny, James, are we gonna be okay? Probably not. Okay. <laughs> so, you guys ready? Can we do our uh, Stevie's Fart Corner? Uh, we'll do it after the challenge. Well, what do you mean after the challenge? Yeah, we're not playing it before the challenge. What that? Towards the end, you did. Yeah, very, very, very. very, very <laughs> Dude, it's almost when the credits are rolling on the podcast, brother. Me, can I ask Terrence what he thinks about that? You want to wake up Terrence to ask yeah, him this yeah. question? So let me okay. ask him. One Ter so, so Terrence, what what are your thoughts on Steve Stevie's fart corner, and when do you think we should do it? Let him answer. Play them sparingly. Farts are emissions of gas, but trees fart too. Well, I guess he spoke. Okay. Fair enough. Okay, so Ryan, you said you had one more voice message that got sent to us? Yep. One okay. more voice message. And then should we get into the challenge after that? Yeah. Heck All right, so this one comes from Zane. Hey, guys. Uh, my name's Zane from England. And um, I was listening to the current episode, Edward Fortyhan's great episode. And um, I just heard a question come in from another guy named Zane. And I guess my question's for him, and it is, who the frick do you think you are, dude? This fan base is only big enough for one of us, son. So if you want to go, we can go. Someone get some cheese, because we're about to throw at each other and go to war, and only one Zane will survive. Let's do this, dude. And also, guys, are you ever going to come to England or be great to see you guys? All right. Much love. Take care. <laughs> hey, Ryan, great job curating the questions. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan. Wow, Woo! Ryan. Really knocking really? him out of the park today, really? dude. Walking Woo! on the edge there. Woo! Wow. 
What if that the was curation has just been what if that spectacular, was spectacular, man? What if that was Zane from One Direction? Do you know <laughs> how wild amazing. that would be yeah. if he was a Scissor Bros fan? Yeah. You know what I'm learning about Ryan? He he likes the confrontation. You know what I like. You know what I, I like about Ryan? He likes, he he likes, likes the to see edginess. the ship sink sometimes he, on the show. I think he's he trying likes to, sink to us. light it on fire Ryan, are you and trying see what to happens. Sink us, man? Shout out to Zane. Yeah, uh, shout out to you Zane. know, we hey. can have more than one Zane, and we Zane. hope to do a Scissor Bros England to answer your question. Not only that, Zane, uh, I want to know, chime in again, because I, I follow the English Premier League. I want to know your thoughts about, uh, you know, Manchester City, Liverpool, Arsenal, the Premier League. What are your thoughts on uh, the whole season? I want to live forever. Um, so, so Zane, yeah, comment name. below. And, uh, and I don't want to live. What is the challenge? I feel anxious right oh, now. Oh, oh, oh. When is the challenge? I know challenge? you guys been conspiring against me. Go ahead and present it. I like how anytime I choose the challenge with Ryan, I'm conspiring against you. So it's going to be conspiring against me. 2v1 so, so next 2v1. week so next week you're conspiring against me by your logic he doesn't really communicate as well with me than he does with you no that's not true i got to keep it true that's dude there's no way how can you Ryan do you favor him when it comes to working what? with him in collaborations uh you don't want me to be honest with that one this is not helping, dude. I need you to honestly. This is this is literally lighting Steve's paranoia on fire right now. No, no, it's not because I favor working with you. It's because he comes up with ideas a lot. Whereas if I'm like Steve, what are we gonna do? It's not a ton of ideas. So honestly, shut through the heart and hey, you're to blame. You give love. A bad name. But in my defense, I've come up, like, before you were here, yeah, I came I know. up with almost all of them. Oh, yeah. On a weekly basis. So I understand what you're saying, but, dude, chill out a little bit. Wow. I think you are. I think he has a vendetta. He does not like me. Secret, Secretly, he doesn't like me. <laughs> no. I liked Stevie Weeby before Scissor Bros existed. He's a Stevie Weeby fan. I'm a Stevie Weeby guy. Okay, but it's just like the things you're saying this episode. I'm like questioning. I feel like I don't know. I feel like there's there's a little bit of resentment. comment below if you think this is real or fake uh, drama. Yeah. Wow, right. Because where is this the might, bit? People, fans might like. It. I mean, I'm just I'm being real. This is not. I'm trying to work this out with Ryan. I, you know, he's right. doing a good job, but I want it to be cool with all of us. I want it to be cool set, with everybody. I don't want any animosity or. Let's have Jordan weigh in. Yeah, Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Jordan. No, I mean, I mean, there's always like fighting between siblings, right? Oh. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I think this is a total normal behavior. It's. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. Ryan, we love you, man. I mean, dude, I love you. Okay, a lot, okay, man. okay, okay, man. You know what I think it is? I think he doesn't have control of the tone in his voice. <laughs> he's what? like, I really love you, man. No, I love you. So in a, and, in a hateful kind of way. So, so like, I think he really does. I really love you, man. I, yeah. So I think he means that what he's yeah. saying, but I think that the tone. Yeah, I think there's frustration. You know what? I'm glad you brought that up, and I'm glad you said that because now I'm aware of that, and I'll I'll put more effort when it comes to my week into the challenges, challenge oh, ideas. Okay. I mean, that's all I could say right well, now. Well, you're gonna love this challenge. All right, go ahead. Actually, I think you're gonna actually like this challenge. Ryan, do you want to explain uh, what we're doing? Because we're going to do... We haven't done this in a long time. It's a gaming challenge. We're doing a gaming challenge. So, today you guys will be playing a game neither one of you have ever played before. It's called Jump King. Jump King... What do we, what do we play this, do we? I have my laptop oh, and a controller. Okay. And OBS. He's going to screen capture it. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And so, Jump King is a platformer. About 90% of the people that play the game complete the game, but it is also one of the hardest games. He, he came up with You didn't come up with this. I've never played this game. So yeah. this was your idea. Yeah, yeah. But okay. the, 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 anyways, so 
Uh, you guys have five minutes to get as far as possible each. Okay. During okay. those five minutes, the person not playing has actually, I don't know if, did you bring it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Has a belt. You have five wax at the other person's butt while they're playing to try to mess them, mess them up during those five minutes. Got it? You guys both came up with this? Mm-hmm. Oh, great idea, guys. And the loser. This is a Thanksgiving leftover episode. Is going to have to take a shot of hot sauce from a turkey baster up the butt. What'd you say? <laughs> Dude, loser has to take a turkey baster or a hot sauce up the butt. We can't put that on YouTube. Oh, yeah, we can. It's going to be flat, Out of frame, brother. It's not like we're squirting it in there. Like, on camera. It'll be out of frame. I love it. Let's do it. I love it. And guess what? If I lose, I'll let you squirt it up my butt. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I'm looking forward to it. Deep. Let's go. Let's go. Feel the burst of wind. This is like an anime character. <laughs> what the frick? Okay, 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 okay. You ready to go? Okay, you have the time ready? Okay, Jump King, I've never played this game. Steve has the ability to hit me five times during the five minutes. It's whoever gets to the highest level wins. Loser gets a turkey baster, a squirt of hot sauce up the butt. Okay. Go ahead, bro. Okay, ready? We're having fun tonight. Three, two, one, go. Uh, new game, one second. Okay. And uh, main babe or new babe? Main babe. Main babe. Okay, legend has it there is a smoking hot babe at the top. Wait. Huh? Ow! What the frick? I don't even. I'm trying to figure out this game right now. Um. What is. Don't say nothing. Tell me one a minute, then. I only get one a minute, right? Dude, I'm. I don't know. Oh god! This is so hard. I, I, I don't understand. Dude, d- dude, you can't say nothing. Dude, I, this is not gonna make it even. <laughs> what? I literally don't understand. Dude. Can't Steve. say nothing, you can't say it. How much time we got? Dude, I, this is so dumb. Like, I, I don't even know, like, what to do, man. <laughs> Can he give me a hint, dude? No, this no, 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 there's no hints. There's no hints. You didn't say it like that when you're introducing the game, and that would be a, that would be a disqualification, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. So dumb, dude. I'm not, I can't even compete against you if I don't even know. This is pathetic. How much time we got? Dude, I can't even get. 
I, I, dude, I'm in, How many I'm in the I, loading area, Steve. This is literally not even entertaining. Could you guys want to start it again? No, 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 no,
I, I didn't do it like that. I didn't do it like that to you, man. I didn't do it like that to you, man. This is what happens when, you, when you can't reason with somebody logically. I, I, I'm being, I'm the one being fully logical. You guys came up with this whole idea, and I'm sticking to the rules. No, no, you, you guys are, are no, you're you the guys one are, who freaking said that you couldn't. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? You're the one that's. You're they the said one that, that we did... couldn't explain it. You, yeah. You're the one who came up with that. You guys didn't explain it to begin with. Ow! God damn it! All right, dude. All right, dude. All right, dude. God, okay, dude. We're gonna. Are we gonna just have a nice dinner? I, I, come on, guys. This is your guys' idea. I didn't come up. This is your guys' whole thing. I didn't come up with this. This is your guys' brainchild. I'm just sticking to the rules. And you guys are like deviating from the rules. You should have explained it at the beginning when you're introducing the whole challenge, right, Jordan? Back me up, dude. They didn't. They didn't. We're talking about. And then I'm gonna explain and walk you through a tutorial if you have trouble getting off the bottom left, the bottom part of the platform. That was never discussed, man. I'm just sticking to the rules of what you guys said at the beginning of the challenge. And you guys are saying that I'm do doing something wrong. I'm just, you guys. This is your guys' thing, man. That should be five minutes by now, guys, right? Five minutes. Yeah. There you go, man. <sighs> Fuck. I didn't, I'm just saying, dude, you got me flat on the ass. Now get naked, please. <laughs> get naked. Oh. Chest down, ass up. That's the way. <laughs> Chest down, ass up. Oh, dude, this is going to be so gross. Dude, are you, should we go in there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you Steve, is Steve in frame? You gotta stick it all. You gotta stick it high, dude. Okay, this, high, is, this dude. is as high as I can oh. stick it. <laughs> what do you mean? You're going out of frame. You're going. You, you gotta kneel. You gotta kneel more. Like this? Yeah. Sit on your butt. Just don't move too much. Like this? Yeah, but don't lean over to your right. Okay. To your right, to your right. I have to lean to. I don't know where his anus is. I need to find out where the where the bullseye is. I need to find the bullseye. Yeah, I don't want to go up so you can't see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Oh, okay, okay, not much more. Okay, okay. Okay, oh, don't push anymore. <laughs> don't push anymore. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, Steve, don't push anymore. <laughs> push it. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, Steve, why'd you... Are you my scissor brother? Still? What the frick is this? This is so wrong. Oh, it's kind of Dude, this is so wrong, it's kinda, man. It's kind of spicy. This is so wrong. It's kind of spicy. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 don't push anymore. Don't push anymore. Okay, are you done yet? Oh, it feels like an eternity back there. It's heating up. Steve, it's heating up. I can't do this anymore. <laughs> Me neither. It's so ethically wrong. Okay, okay. I'm so sorry. Okay, dude. it's so spicy. It's so yeah, it's so spicy. So, okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, stop, 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 stop. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, dude. Oh. I'm so sorry. Oh, it's so uh, spicy. So, it's so spicy. All right. Oh, all right. Can thanks, I wipe? Thanks for tuning in. Go can I wipe my butt? Yeah, go ahead. It's so spicy. Go to patreon.com slash scissorbros for exclusive content. We love you guys. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Oh, dude, I'm I gotta so wipe this. I know, you guys do your thing. Oh. Do your thing. Thank you guys. Thanks oh. for tuning in. Oh, my butt is on fire. Oh. Oh. Dude. Can you hear me, baby wife? Yeah, can you yeah, hear me, yeah, baby yeah, wife? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Can, you have, can you grab this? Dude, my butt, it, my butt didn't even leak anything out. It's just all that's still in there. Oh. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. These aren't okay, that's okay. Okay, now it's time for Stevie's Fart Corner. And then this is where you put the music. And then, um. Okay, the first one is from our main man, Michael Flowers. Okay, here we go. Good one, Michael. The next one is from Relb D, Fart Submission. Hey, Stevie, I love Scissor Bros, blah, blah, blah. Uh, 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 Jeremiah, I love the fart segment. Uh, Jeremiah, I love the fart segment in all caps. Please keep it. 
Maybe even get all the scissor siblings to vote for the winner somehow. Also, be sure to tell Gerald and I, I said hi to keep his neck up and pay no attention to all the haters. You guys get Terrence a cover before his leaves shrivel up too. It's winter time. Thank you, Rob D. Very healthy one, Rob D. I like that. I like how you guys are just, there's no reaction. I, I'm having a good time. I, I don't like what's happening here. I need a little enthusiasm with these farts. Okay. So the next one is from Noah Anon. Anon. What's up, Stevie? <laughs> I like that one because it was, I would call that one a squeaker. Good one, Anon. Noah Anon. Um, this next one, another great fart from Chris Moody. <laughs> what was that? So he farted and he smiled and he goes, Hee. I think that's my favorite one so far. What do you guys wow. think? Yeah. It's cool. Oh. This next one, it's there's a theme like Spartacus. This is Farticus. Dude, that's my new favorite. Why? Because it had it was deliberate. Um, there was a little bit of a rocky motion in it, and the gas punched the microphone. Yeah, it was like boom, boom, boom. yeah, yeah. That was so. <laughs> Spartacus, good one. That was from Corey Blue. Just a few more, and then I'll put you guys out of your misery. This one's from Sammy Bananas. This one might be good, too. I'm just letting you know this is 100%. Is that? Re that was 100% real? real? Yeah, because it, it's a video. It was in a. Uh, <laughs> this is what he looked like. <laughs> Dude, this guy, he that's a gold medal he performance. His face? Yeah, that's him. Well, okay, we'll show him, I guess. Well, th there's a reason why he submitted the, that. I would be proud too. Yeah, dude, did not that sounded like a like an engine revving up, huh? Something like a motor butt. Wow, good one, uh, Samuel. Very good. Good job. That was a yeah. really good one. Keep up the great Keep work. Keep up the great work. <laughs> this next one is from Ruth Jalasco. Oh my god. Okay. All right, we're almost done, dude. Okay. Is that a gremlin part? <laughs> What's that? Can we, dude, can we listen to it one more time? Because that sounded like a real alien. That was really amazing. Is that... What? It sounded like a mogwai. <laughs> Show at gmail.com <laughs> to email your farts. Hold up, we're not done. This is a uh, uh, get oh packed. Hi, Steve. I love your work, brother. I live in Byron Bay, New South Wales, Australia, Australia, and have been following you and Bobby for about six years now. I thought you'd appreciate this epic fart, and it would be awesome if I heard it on Scissor Bros. Keep doing what you're good at. Cheers from Rob Peck. Uh, you, you just did a natural one. Mm -hmm. See, you do like this segment, it brings it out of me. <laughs> you looked like poop came through your phone, <laughs> like through the screen. Dude, you, that was a good one. Like you got scared. All right. Good job from Rob Peck from Australia. Okay. Thank you, guys. Wait, hold up. We're not done yet. This one is from YFN Mac. My name is John Tay, pronounced John Tay. Here 
It's not even hears. Hear my fart. Good grief. Okay, good one, Jonte. Uh, we're almost done, guys. Steve, this how one many is submissions are you getting? This is not even the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> I'm doing you guys. I mean, I got it's just overflowing. This one's from my main man, John Lockhart. <laughs> Did you hear that at the end? Yeah, that was his girlfriend yeah. going, Jesus. Do you know that was real? <laughs> God, dude, my main man John Lockhart is 100% certified. Okay, okay. He's 100% real. Okay, that I one, love you, John. That one got five out of five brown scissors. Okay, from we're not your done. Boy. We're not done. Steve, we're Andy just getting started. on that closer, man. Well, Come on. That was good. Okay. All right. That was good. We're not going to beat that, that brother. Was that enough? That was like eight. I think it was like 10. Let me just do one more. No, guys. Steve. Please. These guys took their time. Let me just we do one more. We have so many okay, more. Okay, I'm so sorry. We've got so many. So. Well, tune in next week for Stevie's Fart Corner. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> okay, okay, well, thank you for tuning in if you're still with us. If you're still with us, that is. <coughs> Patreon.com slash Scissor Bros. You know? Yeah. Love you guys. Oh, yeah. If you want exclusive content, go to Patreon.com slash Scissor Bros. Make sure you get a bottle of this fantastic hot yeah. sauce. And as always, check out Stevie Weeby Show. Yeah, Stevie Weeby Show. Jeremiah, Jeremiah Wonders. There's Wonders. a new stand up on the spot yeah. that's out. You know Got what? A lot of Again, great let me do a, let me do an announcement. We have our own solo podcast. Please support that too, ladies and gentlemen. If you're trying to get that fixed yeah. after this, if you already watched this, well, yeah, we well, yeah. Why, why not? Yeah, love you guys. Thank love you so you much for tuning in. And special shout out to Jordan for making the trip over and hanging out with us for the first time. And Ryan, check out Jordan's full interview on our Patreon. And we're going to do some Sun Nong Don later tonight. Yeah, Let's baby. This. On well, us. Love you guys. Okay, just, just, to give, just to give you, I'm really sorry about the belt. No, that's I went all hard. That's, I'm sorry that, you know, I'm sorry that I had to stick the turkey baster in your butt. I love uh, you. I love you. Uh, tune in. Go to patreon.com yeah. slash scissor bros. I, I will say that what's happening in my butt right now is worse than than any of the spicy challenges it's that happened in my it, mouth. It burns. It's accentuated times a thousand, dude. I'm going to have to run inside. Is it, it like fire ants in your butthole? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Thanks for tuning in. We love you guys. I love you guys. Okay. Uh, only the best content for you guys. <laughs>